New snow means heightened avalanche danger, and you can never be too careful in Montana's backcountry, something two avalanche researchers learned firsthand last week after they triggered a slide near Cook City. As my partner was heading down, we remote triggered this slide from down on the much flatter terrain here. Cook City, Montana has a reputation for being a snowmobiler's paradise, but with that fun comes avalanche danger. And just last Friday, two avalanche researchers had a close call with the very same phenomena they were studying on Fisher Mountain. It's incredibly terrifying. The two researchers from the Friends of the Gallatin National Forest Avalanche Center had snowmobiled to an area on the mountain to dig some snow pits. One of them rode, and then the second person came, and when the second person person was coming, he triggered the avalanche from below. The second rider wasn't on the slope, but below it. And he was able to propagate this fracture up the hill, which then caught him. Uh, luckily, the other guy, um, the first guy, he was safe. The first rider called for help on the radio and then rushed down the mountain to assist his colleague. And luckily, he wasn't buried. Um, he was only, you know, he had snow up to his, his thighs, but it was a really close call because it was a big avalanche. They were able to dig out the rider and the snowmobile. Thankfully, no one was injured, but it's a reminder that there are no rules when it comes to Mother Nature. December and January can be quite bad for avalanches in Montana. And the reason for that is, is we're forming many weak layers in the snowpack right now. These men spend much of their time in the backcountry educating people about the risks of avalanches. What we're dealing with mainly right now is this six inch to an eight inch wind slab. But the ones that kill people in the United States are overwhelmingly either the victim or the someone in their party triggered the avalanche. Doug says it's imperative to educate yourself on avalanche danger when backcountry skiing or exploring. And even when you do know what you're doing, come prepared. If you have nothing with you, you're definitely a sitting duck. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.